What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be making a Smash Ultimate Pellet Guide. I've been playing this character since 3DS, so I hope this guide helps you out. I'm going to keep it very basic and concise. So let's get started. First, I want to go over damage output with uh, all his moves. Jab here, you can see it does 2.5. We get Nair, 4.2. We get F-Tilt, 2.5. Then we have Short Hop Nair. This does 2.1 and keep in mind stale, it will go down all the way to like 1.1% like per, per jab and stuff. And Nair as well will drop down from 4.2 to like 3, etc. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, now we can go over basic, basic, this is like the most basic thing you can learn is basically short hopping and fast falling back and forth all over the stage. If you can't do this effectively, you're not going to be able to do like any pellet movement with the Mega Man. This is basically like essential. But yeah, it's pretty basic. There's no secret to learning this. Just go in training mode and do it. Okay. Once you get the hang of that, you can start applying your jumping pellet like this. And right here, this is basically your most useful zoning tool. Why you might ask is because it's pellet one and you're safe. So let's say I want to shoot a pellet here and now I can just retreat. I can do whatever I want. I'm pretty safe from like whatever Falcon wants to do next. Another good tip to do is you can aim for their head. For example, like for example, if you're fighting Link and they have a shield and you're hitting them at their body, you're not going to do anything. So it's a very good thing to aim for their head. Since even when they shield, the head will get exposed first usually. Even if they move the shield, the head is still exposed. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, pellet one is the most basic of basic. You might how to use it. It's just literally zoning. You can use it as an anti-air and use it as like the close hit in there. You can just drop them. Whatever you want really. Now I want to go over over Nair. Nair you can get it to a tech situation. So you can either do just straight up Nair, like you can just go Nair like this, or you can combine it with jab jab. Jab, jab, nair, or you can do jab, 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 nair, for example, but it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. And then after this, you can go into a situation like this where you lock them with there. You can also go for stuff with locking them with the pellets. You can go into up tilt, you can go into a down tilt. It really is whatever you want. So, yeah, that's really good. And another thing to keep in mind with pellets is that the farther they travel, the more the hitbox decreases and the stun decreases. So the very last hit like that, it doesn't have that much stun, leaving Falcon to move relatively quickly after that. Okay, now pellet 2. Pellet 2 is where it gets a little bit cooler because this here, you have more time to stun them and you have more to like get closer. So you can go pellet 1, 2, up air. Pellet 1, 2, you can maybe grab them if they're just shielding. Let's say right there, they're shielding, grab them. You go Pellet 1, just grab them as a mix-up. Um, you can do a lot. You can go Pellet 1, 1, you can go behind them. You can do so much stuff. Um, and then the last thing is Pellet 3. Pellet 3 is pretty useful since you're going to get 3 hits, right? You, let's say you only get these 2 hits and now uh, the last hit, boom. But keep in mind that three pellets, that's usually like, it keeps you stuck right there. You can move with it, of course, but you can't do anything like while you're there. So it leaves you pretty vulnerable. Um, another thing let's go over is basically pellet patterns and shapes. So what this means is that pellets, it's you can use it for just zoning like this uh, falcon but you can use it above them as well for example you can like cover all this space here you're not necessarily hitting them but you're still covering this space so that's good that will like make it less likely for falcon to go up there but yeah, obviously he still can go up there or you can like example you can shoot your pellets down here then the falcon gets mad he jumps and then you do a diagonal blade up and cover that it just really is about creativity you could you combine it with rush as well create walls like that but the most basic is just using your full hop and your double jumps. But yeah, um, another drill I like to do is 
going for a lot of nares. So you go from there, go from there, go from there, go from there. Keep doing that. Of course, it's not that optimal to just keep going for it because, like, let's say right here, I could have just stopped it at this situation and get way more damage. But it's just a good thing to practice on all characters because different characters fall differently. Like, you see Falcon like that. Let's say, like, Lucina, Marth, like, their bodies are slimmer. So you need to practice that because it's not going to be the same for every character. Um, let's see what else to go over. Another thing you can combine is it your Z drop and Z drop and pellet like this back and forth. That's basically after you get the hang of just doing this. Doing this is pretty good because you have access to your metal blades, so you can go for stuff like this. Let's say in a situation the Falcon is shielding, right? Let's say I go for pellet one two. Now I'm behind him. He's still shielding. Now I Z drop him, and I can go for a grab depending. On whatever happens like let's say in this situation he drops shield then the z drop connects i go for a up tilt or let's say he just continues shielding now he's locked and i can grab him so you can do all that with that you can also cross them up going for back airs you can cross them up going for that uh you can cross them up and do nothing it really is up to you um another thing i like to do is let me up the percent Let's say you backdoor him, let's say you read the jump and you go for a nair hit. They're dead just like that. And this is very, very effective against a lot of characters. For example, like Min Min, Tether Recoveries, or just characters that just have our, like outright exploitable recoveries, you can do this too. Um, but yeah, that's very useful. You can also just go here off stage and just shoot your pellets at this up angle, like at this area up here to force them to go down here to where you can maybe get a dare or something else. Another thing you can do also while they're recovering is you can like spike them. Um, what's it called? Stage spike them with the pellet. But this is like harder. You can go something like that. But yeah, that's a basic, the most basic thing. Um, overall with Mega Man, just Use your pellets, use them safe, use one twos, you can combine them into grabs. You can also, let me show you one more thing, one more thing. I just remembered. Let's say here's a situation. Let's say I do, let's say I do pellet. So I do jab and then I do nair and then I shoot a pellet as he's falling, which will reset the situation and Falcon won't have to tech. So it looks a little bit like this. Jab, nair, okay, I did it wrong jab nair and another pellet and you see how he's just standing now so that gives me the option to grab him so you can do stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully this guide helped you out and stay tuned for the next video